welcome back to photoshop this is asas pixel studio so if you want clean professional skin retouching in seconds this video is for you today i'm giving you 30 pro retouching actions completely free these are the same finishing action i use to speed up my workflow and deliver eye hand results for clients i'll show you how to download how to install how to use them in photoshop and yes the password to the file will be shown inside this video so make sure you watch till the end let's jump straight in all right so i will quickly show you before and after of what i've used this action to get so you can see this is a photo for example and this is the result i got after using the actions how amazing this before and this is after again this is before this is after all right so the entire finish was done with free actions no subscription no watermarks okay so what's inside it's um just you no know, 30 pro retouching actions designed for portraits beauty retouching studio and natural light photos covers skin polish dodge and bone helpers color pop final sharpening and professional finishing too all right so and um, who is this for this you can this is for beginners photographers content creators photoshop user who want to speed up their workflow or who want speed all right so now how to download the actions the link is in the description click download the file is protected password will appear later in this video okay so how do you install inside photoshop let me show you how to install um a lot of people don't know how to bring up the action panel inside of photoshop and it's actually very simple you will see the action panel by going to windows and then you're going to see the actions inside photoshop here yeah? let's click on actions and the actions panel is going to show up so i can drag and put place it right here now you can click it and click it it's just going to hop here all right so now um mine own actions you can see that you have the initial um was it called now actions where that came with photoshop okay so how to have them you're just gonna come here with this three dots click on that and click on load actions there's three dots load actions you can reset the action you're gonna navigate to where the actions are choose the location so i already have my location and I'm just gonna reset and navigate to where the actions are all right so how to get the actions inside Photoshop so you need to open Photoshop once you open Photoshop you're gonna go to let's say you don't have this icon showing you're just gonna come to Windows go to actions and the action panel is gonna pop up so yours might have this yours might not um, it's already inside of Photoshop it came with Photoshop so um, I'm just gonna quickly show you that because if I reset action it's just going to be there okay so now you might have only this so just come here click on this and click on load action select the downloadable file so I'm just gonna navigate to where the actions um for me it right here on this folder so I'm just gonna click on this icon and copy let's go back and then I'm gonna come here and paste once I paste I'm gonna click on this one and it's gonna navigate to where the actions look at it and then I'm gonna click load and then you are going to see it added to Photoshop already. All right, so that's how to add actions to Photoshop. So how do you use this action? Oh, uh, it's very very simple. Let's take for instance. I'm going to close this one now. Nope. And then come to this image. 
so we can see how it works let's drag this and put it here okay um i can click on it now um the password to the file is this let me quickly type i'm just gonna click on task and then come here and let's make it smaller and drag it out make it smaller so text here i'm just gonna click on it okay let's make it a little bit brown i hope you can see it okay so this is it um it's b i small letter g g two nine nine two so that's the password b i g g two nine nine two okay so this this i hope you get it okay so let's continue now like i said um i can start with the teeth whitening so which i also work for the high so when i click it one click it's going to tell you now just pin the layer max teeth parts that you want to retouch click ok and then you go there it's going to select the brush for you okay so just reduce the opacity and then you clean make sure now if you so there are times you won't see the effect very well you can come right inside it and you can control so like this now i can control the this one intensity um if you want to darken it up if you want to brighten it up so just like that and i can come here also as well and i can just select this one increase come here decrease so depend on what you want to do like that so let's see the difference this is our before and this is our after to, to give us that white settings okay so it's actually very simple and straightforward like that and you can just adjust all right next one which is um we can use also the skin correction medium you can just come here and click on skin correction sorry i double click on it there are a lot of um, actions to use so i just showed you you can use dodge and bond correction let's quickly use dodge and bond correction so now just paint the zone where you want to retouch now make sure your flow is 50 or sometimes i use 10 and then you can dodge you can burn so dodge is when you want to make place brighter so i'm just going to increase it so that you can see the difference up like that yeah and i'm gonna make this place darker like that and make this place darker just for example if that's what you want to do come to dodge and you're gonna break brighten up this side come here i'm gonna dark in the side and dark in the side and i'm gonna brighten up this side so just something like this you can yep just do to create a 3d for the face all right so let's see before and after for the dodge and burn so you can see it's looking flat and now it's looking 3d looking flat looking 3d you can also use skin frequency separation if you want to remove all of this all you just need to do is just click it and boom and you're done with it. So continue you paint where you want to paint all right so we're going to look in order not to make the video longer look how to dive in deeper on how to use most of this one professionally all right so see you in the next video let me know if the video is helpful like share and comment thank you